Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to the grooviest podcast in all of YouTube, uh, even if only two people watch us. Um, as maybe you can catch by the look of it, uh, I don't have an, any guest today. Uh, I didn't manage to pull anyone, so I said, well, let's go back to basics. Let's do it. Let's do this one but by myself. And also, I'm going to try to keep this one fairly quick. Uh, I don't want to spread this one too, too thin, I think. Uh, I, I, I don't really want to make this one like an hour long because mainly I don't feel like it it's 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 nothing more that it's nothing more than that so I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on quickly to the to the well basically the summary of the topics from last week um, last week I spoke with a couple of friends who, which which are the people who I want to move out with uh, we had a nice chat um, but I think we only covered like three major topics. Let me check it uh, in a second. <clears throat> uh, I have noted here we talked about politics and social politics. Uh, one of the big topics we we covered was the the great amount of cor of corruption we have in our country. Uh, it's it's a bit difficult to explain. I don't even feel like going into detail now because it, this is this is a recap. Maybe uh, sometimes we go a little deep in the in the recap just to just to remember what what it was about. But I don't really feel like it today. So uh, moving on, the the other topic was uh, the mod drama on GTA, in GTA Five, Four. Um, as uh, maybe maybe some of you remember that Take Two, I think, was the publisher for GTA decided to not allow mods in the game so there was this public outrage and we talked about it uh, a little bit actually I think we we spoke about that topic for uh, uh, quite a while actually I'm not sure I don't remember correctly uh, I'm, I'm a, uh, you might notice I'm a bit lazy today so p please bear with me I'm, I'm gonna try to make this not boring but um, uh, maybe maybe it's, maybe it'll come out a bit boring. Uh, if if it does, I'm sorry. Um, moving on, uh, the other topic was well, the other and last topic we we talked about this to kind of close out the podcast was the Steam summer sales, and I actually want to talk uh, mostly about the about the summer sales uh, in today's episode. But mainly, mainly, now that we are done with the recap, um, how how long is this? Like, all right, we are we are three minutes uh, at three minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and and do the the thing we we do when we are done with the recap and and prepare to open up a few packs, a few Pokemon packs. I thought uh, I was running out of packs, but I actually had two more than I thought. So I'm opening up two X and Y evolution pack uh, packs today, <laughs> as I did the last two weeks. So I'm, I'm gonna start by I'm gonna start with Blastoise. Um, let's. I mean, how many episodes I've made of this of this podcast? Maybe like seven or eight, right now, as of now. And I still haven't got anything more than a holo rare. Or a, a reverse, reverse rare. It's it's kind of annoying at this point. Well, um, I actually have something moderately decent. A double colorless classic energy. That's that's all right. This pack this pack is already uh, already fine. I don't care if I don't get anything good from this pack. I, uh, <laughs> a double double colorless. It's it's already not bad. Nidorino. I'm gonna blast uh, rapidly as I usually do. Nothing too great. Nothing I don't really have. I think I've, I have all the commons and uncommons for this set. Maybe I'm lacking a few, un a couple of uncommons, but I think I have them all. I'm not really sure. The reverse is a Shan Sans Drew, and the, the rare is just a fucking Mewtwo, dude. Uh, I said I said I was okay with this pack. I'm not gonna complain. All right. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go with, with the supposedly good one, uh, Venusaur. You, you all know Venusaur is the is the better starter. Fuck Charizard. 
Well, man, my my pronunciation today is not it's not really good either. Uh, I'm feeling so lazy. I don't even feel like putting effort in my pronunciation. All right, uh, we have a secret. Pikachu surf. Yes, it's a secret. That's fine. Magmar, I like it. Another secret, Team Rocket. Uh, that's, I mean, the secrets in this set are worthless, but uh, uh, they are something in terms of rarity. I, 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 that means we've already got two rares in this pack, and we're not even in the in the rare slot. And speaking of rare pulls, here's a fairy, a fairy classic energy, which is also mm, arguably rare. We have Voltorb, we have Tangela, this is the reverse, I think. Yes, it's uh, Nidoran. And. Oh, fuck! Finally! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> it's not even. It's fucking terrible, man! It's a, it's a, it's just a slow bro. It's not even mega. I, for for a second there, I thought it was mega slow bro. It's just regular ass slow bro ex. Not not full art, not anything. But at least it's it's over a rare. Dude, that pack that pack was okay. <laughs> I, I don't even. I, I'm not sure what I what I said. Like six or six or seven podcast episodes, and I finally got something. I finally got something that's worth it. I'm I'm gonna check real quick. I don't know. I, I don't remember the uh, the. All right. I, I'm gonna check uh, the the website real quick. Let me turn off the camera. I'm gonna check the website real quick just to check what what this slow bro is worth. Um, <clears throat> I might I might have to double check what the expansion is. Mega slower EX, slower EX. It's oh my fucking! <laughs> I, I I might I I, I might look like some sort of uh, unboxing channel right now because I'm kind of overreacting. This fucking piece of trash. This. Please please bear in mind that uh, the your regular uh, Pokemon booster pack is four bucks. I don't buy them at four bucks because I don't buy them loose. I usually buy some sort of pack, some sort of box, um, which technically has cheaper booster packs. So I don't pay the full four bucks for each pack. But bear in mind that each pack is, on, on average, worth four bucks. Just as a retail price is four bucks. Um, you might guess if you get an EX, maybe it's five bucks, six bucks at, at least. But um, not exactly in this case. This slow bro EX from this expansion is worth less than two bucks. I don't know if you who are listening uh, who are listening are into the Pokemon TCG game. Um, well, TCG <laughs> TCG game is, is redundant. I don't know if you're into the Pokemon TCG, but you might notice that um, this expansion, if I say it's it's shit, it's, be, it's because it's shit. I, I've opened two packs uh, each, each episode because the, the expansion is basically worthless, so I, I want to I wanna be done with it quickly. And, well, now you have an example of why it's, it's fucking terrible. I pulled out something that's above rare, and it's, it's just... It's just two bucks. I don't even. I don't even want to live anymore. Um, I just want to be done with these packs. I have one more left. I'll open it next week, and I hope I never have to open up an evolution an evolutions pack again. Hopefully. And now, after I'm done picking up all the cards I just threw on the ground, well, let's move on to the main topic I really wanted to cover that it, it's the steam summer sales that have been uh, running this past week I wanna say yeah uh, just over a week now I think it's maybe from last not last Friday two Fridays ago till now and it's gonna be over in two days so it's let's say it's all uh, a week and a half 
uh, more or less. Uh, I want to talk well not only not only about about the Steam sales. Uh, I want to talk about something that's a bit related to it, and that's something that I've already talked about a few times, and that's uh, game collecting. Um, as some of you who have already listened to the podcast know, I like to collect games. I'm not hardcore into collecting games. I don't buy really expensive stuff. But I don't know. I, I usually ha hit uh, secondhand stores, and if I find something that piques my interest, I just buy it. Last week, uh, or, or the week uh, uh, before, I went into a couple of these stores in uh, in two separate days, and I found actually uh, in in two days I think about like uh, I bought like eight games, and that's not counting the the games I bought for the Steam sales. Uh, actually, in one of the in one of the stores we visited, we we were like four friends uh, hitting up one of these stores, and it was we found like in the PC game section of the store, we found like a stash, a full stash of GTA San Andreas PC ga PC physical games, physical copies, and they were believe me believe me when I tell this. They were near mint. All of them. They were maybe there were maybe like let's say 10, 12 copies of GTA San Andreas, and it wasn't just it wasn't just like the plastic case with the game. It was a cardboard case with a full booklet, like a giant booklet with I want to say 30 pages, 30 to 40 pages. It's fucking huge, and and. It also came with a poster for the game and the and the San Andreas city city map, so it was, I mean, it was like ten bucks. It's not like the greatest deal, but if you're like us, uh, you hit a, a store and you find ten to twelve copies of GTA San Andreas, basically new, just new, unused, in a secondhand store. And they are like ten bucks. And it's and as I said, it's not only the game; it's also with a few extras. You're you're buying that shit. Uh, as I said, we were four friends. Each one of us got a copy. And then I bought. Uh, let me remember. I think I found. Uh, fuck, I don't remember now. Yeah, uh, I think I found. Metal Gear Portable Ops, which is not the greatest game, but as a Metal Gear fan, I wanted to have it. I think I bought that one. I bought. I don't know if you. Maybe this is kind of an an, an obscure game, but I'm a big fan of it. The uh, the the Nintendo DS game Dimension: The World. It's kind of like a first-person Silent Hill game for Nintendo DS. It's it's kind of a mixture. Let's say it's a mixture of Doom and Silent Hill. It actually, as I uh, I heard that the developers wanted to make it uh, a Silent Hill official license game, but since they couldn't get a hold of the license, they just went ahead and and made their own. So they called it Dimension the World, and it's it's kind of like a trilogy of games. The first one is not Dimension. It's called just Moon. It's from the same studio and it's just a, a first-person shooter in space for the Nintendo DS as well. And it's uh, I remember I remember playing it uh, when I was uh, in university. I was playing that game like in the cafeteria, waiting for something. Uh, maybe it's, it was like waiting for the next class. Uh, I remember I remember fuck. Uh, as I said, I'm I'm so lazy I can't even pronounce well. I remember playing that game in the cafeteria, and some friends came over. Uh, one of them saw me playing that game and said, "Hey, what man? What are you playing?" And I say, "Like I'm playing, not Doom, because it's even it's even called Moon. The title is is very similar to Doom. I'd say Moon is kind of Doom Three, let's say, for Nintendo DS and, and not licensed like a bootleg Doom Three, 
And then the, the same company made Dimension, which is which wanted to be Silent Hill, but ended up being somewhat similar to, Island, to Silent Hill and also very similar to Doom 3. And then they made, they made a sequel to, to Dimension, which is also available in in PC and the port is not fantastic. It's it, it feels like a low budget horror game for PC, but for Nintendo DS standards it's probably one of the only Nintendo DS horror games that's even worth playing. So <coughs> excuse me. I consider myself a fan of the trilogy. I don't uh, to this day I have Moon and two copies, one uh, one European copy and one American copy of Dimension. And I want to get also, as as, it, as it's kind of obvious, I wanted to get uh, a copy of Dimension 2. And so far, uh, well, Dimension, the American copy was one of those I got. As I said, I got San Andreas. And I think I'm missing one because I know I bought like four games. No, 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 no. I'm I'm re- I'm not remembering well. Uh, that that time uh, in that in that secondhand store, I only bought. Dimension and the and the San Andreas copy, and uh, in a, in a different store that was that was having like an anniversary celebration, I bought Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2, and also Doom for the PS1. So those were the four games I bought that day, and like the following day or the day after that. Um, we wanted to meet up some friends, but the but something happened that we couldn't do that. So we went just for a walk, and we visited a different secondhand store. And in that store, they had a couple of obscure PS2 games that I can't even remember right now that piqued my interest. I think one was called Extermination or something like that, and the other one was probably called Dragon Sisters. I don't know if they are good. I haven't tried them. The uh, I haven't tried them yet. Um, so, but I bought them just because they caught my interest, and they were very cheap. And the other, the other two games I bought that day were this time I bought Metal Gear Portable Ops and God's Eater Burst for the PSP. And that's like my collect my my physical game collection going. Eight, plus eight games in a in a weekend, which, I mean, for some game collectors out there, this might sound like baby talk, but I don't know. It feels like crazy move for me. And uh, well, uh, moving on now that I've I've talked about game collecting basically up till now, I wanted to mention the Steam sales too. I bought a shit ton of games. I'm I'm noticing I'm I'm almost up to twenty minutes now. I said I wanted to do this short. I don't know if I'm gonna make this over half an hour. I I'm, I think just because I'm rambling all the time, um, I think we're going to go over the half an hour mark. But well, uh, let's let's just talk about the shit I got for for the summer sale season this summer. Um, the last week I mentioned in the in the other podcast we we made. If you haven't listened to it because you can't understand Spanish, or because or because you're lazy and you don't even like this podcast, um, we talked about the 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 weekend before the recording of that podcast. I had some friends over at my house, and. Uh, while we were while we were having lunch, uh, I showed one of them like my phone screen, and I said, "Yo, check this out." And I had like my my shopping cart in Steam. It was full of six fighting games, six full fighting games, and uh, and Guilty Gear Two Overture, which is not technically a fighting game, but fighting game related. So a total of seven games. That were, let me think, Guilty Gear Exart Sign. Uh, two weeks ago, I said I never played uh, past Exart. Well, I, I never played from Exart onward. I have now played Exart. Um, as I'm saying, I, I bought Guilty Gear Exart Sign, 
King of Fighters 13. What else? Uh, a Melty Blood game, which I never played before. Uh, Rivals of Either. I, I, I almost forget that one. Uh, which more? Under Night in Birth. Uh, another one from Arc System Works as well as Melty Blood, which I haven't played before. And the last one I bought was Ultimate Marvel 3. And now I fucking love Ultimate Marvel 3. As I said, two weeks... Uh, Two weeks ago I said I didn't really like Vanilla Marvel 3, but I think the ult Ultimate Marvel 3 is fucking, is fucking good. Uh, so uh, now I have that one, I can play it as much as I want, I basically love it. And um, th those were only those purchases I made in front of my friend, like, yo, bro, check this out. I'm, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy 60 dollars worth of, oh, 60 or 70 dollars worth of games just right in front of you and my the other friend I have which is which loves fighting games as much as I do was sitting in front of me so he couldn't see the screen and I was kind of teasing him because I was showing this the screen to this other friend and I said you can't you can't look as uh, you can't look at what I'm doing now so finally when I when I was done with the purchase uh, my my computer was on at the moment so I could like remotely install the game so when so when we got home we could we could already play them and my my friend who was sitting in front of me said uh, let me guess you bought guilty gear xr the the last game with all the with all the dlc and also you bought blast blue chrono phantasma and i was like you know what i'm gonna let you look because just because you were kind of close so i let him look uh, we spent all night up till 5 a.m. playing <laughs> and I, I said we could have basically played all night but uh, when it was 5 a.m. I said well uh, let me get to bed uh, let, me, let me get to bed I'm, uh, I'm an adult I'm an adult now I have a work I have a job to to attend I don't wanna uh, lose too much sleep so that was that was that weekend I bought 60 or 70 dollars worth of games Later that I think like Sunday night when those friends weren't over anymore, I bought four dollars worth of games. Maybe I think they were three or four games. I think uh, I I remember I remember I bought Quake. I bought uh, what what was it? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the the kind of the the cheats now <laughs> I'm gonna cheat and look at, at what the fuck I bought I bought Quake that that one I'm sure I bought uh, I have no mouth and I, and I must scream was another one that I got and uh, fuck which which one I don't know I, I think I got like another shooter retro shooter oh uh system shock the classic system shock game and i think that those were the ones that i bought on sunday and then uh, then midweek midweek i also spend probably like 90 bucks <laughs> like 90 bucks worth of games and i'm I'm gonna cheat and complete and look at the complete list right now of those games I bought. They were uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale, the Telltale game, which I played the first chapter of. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, but I'm, I want to take it. I want to take it uh, <laughs> like I, I want to take it uh, slow. I don't want to rush it or anything. I think I maybe played two or three hours worth of gameplay just in the first chapter. I'm really enjoying it. It's it's kind of like it's making me it's making me like the characters more than just watching the movies because I, I'm gonna be honest here. It's not that I don't read comics. I I actually buy and and read a bunch of comics, but it's not my main focus. At the end of the day, I just watch more movies than than read comics. Uh, maybe I buy like six seven comics a month not counting manga so 
Uh, I don't really get to to read uh, Guardians of the Galaxy the the comics and actually if we are if we are taking everything into account like current Marvel isn't too good so I'm I'm not I don't, I don't think I'm missing on on anything besides the movies so uh, I really I really like the Guardians of the Galaxy movies but um I pre I, I, uh, as I said, I like this game because it's ma it's making me know these characters better. I'm I'm actually starting to like Gamora more just because how she's depicted in this game. Also, I think almost all the characters from the main crew are depicted in a really human way in this game. At, at least for the first chapter that that I that I played so far. Uh what is it? Uh, Drax is is it's he's depicted in in a really human way. Star Lord kind of he's snarky, but since you're in control of, in control of Star Lord, kind of he says what what you want him to say. And Gamora is also really hum really human in this game. Like she she uh, she feels. Like she has more feelings than in the movies or or some of the comics that I know of. Uh, the only characters, I, uh, the only character I have a problem with is is Rocket, because Rocket is always an asshole. I can't, I can't really get to like Rocket a lot because he's just a jerk to the other characters. Um, he, I feel like he's always fucking things up. He's most of the time the source of the problem, but. Uh, anyway, I don't want to talk <laughs> a whole lot about this. Let me move on to the to the next game, uh, a different game about <laughs> Naruto Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Four Road to Boruto. Uh, I spent twenty dollars in a game that I know I'm not going to really like, just to have a bit of fun with my friends, and. Uh, well, we have this kind of joke because uh, I found uh, a video not long ago of a guy that that argued that games like Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm, Dragon Ball Shinoverse are strategic fighting games, and games like Marvel or <coughs> or the upcoming Dragon Ball Fighters are like button mashing games. And uh, since we we enjoyed the meme. My friends and I have this this kind of joke where uh, anytime we're playing a skill based game like Guilty Gear, we're like, "Fuck, man, can can you stop playing button mashing fighting games, please? Can you stop playing? So, uh, can you start playing something better?" So we kind of play Ultimate Ninja Storm as a joke, but l let me say this: even if it's as a joke, even if I, I spend twenty dollars just to get the full game, I, I still have a good time with my friends. So. Who cares? Who cares if it's if it's not a really good game? Who cares if it's just a joke? If I can have a good time and I can get my money's worth, I'm okay with it. I don't even like Naruto. As I said, it's kind of a meme, but whatever. Uh, one thing I have to I have to mention is that that game, the port is not really good. Like the controls are really bad. You can't even use hacks or hacking tools whatever you want to call them like mapping tools for your controller like x360 you have to use different different tools like what's it x pattern i think is the name that maps the joystick keys to your keyboard because that game only works with a keyboard for some reason and the keyboard keys are so are so awkwardly mapped. You can't you can't even play with a keyboard. If you wanted to play with a keyboard, you couldn't because the keys are all over the place. So you basically need to get a controller and map it in any way you can so you can kind of try to play. Once I got like out of that mapping issue and also I think the game also has uh, a lot of graphic issues, but I, I only run into a couple. Once you get past those issues, the game runs ju runs just fine. So I don't have much trouble. Besides that, um, moving moving on because I don't wanna. Uh, what is it? We, maybe we've been like half an hour now. 
yes, we're 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 reaching half an hour now. Uh, the other other game I I bought. What else? What else? <laughs> everything everything here is just like Naruto DLC. Oh, I bought Saints Row: Get Out of Hell. I tried to play all the Saints Row games. I don't think I mentioned this in the podcast because it was a while before starting it. Um, Saints Row 2 was free on GOG and the day after it was free on Steam so I got it I wanted to play through it and I spent like 20 hours in one weekend uh, rushing through Saints Row 2 and I actually enjoyed it a lot I think it's a fantastic game and I bought uh, 3 and 4 to play them afterwards and I still haven't finished 3 I want to get to it but I just I have so many games to finish I can't I can't I can't organize myself to finish one and then get to the next I I kind of start all of them and then become a mess and not finish some of them so uh, as I said I bought I got out of hell that's kind of like it feels like an expansion to to Saints Row 4 but anyway I want to get to play that sometime soon other uh, what's uh, let, uh, let's see what else transformers devastation uh, i think it's platinum platinum games i like some platinum games uh from time to time i think metal gear rising revengeance is a fun freaking fantastic game it's really fun to play and the story is just hilarious to me so i think platinum games is is a top notch developer uh, some people I've seen I've seen some people argue that um, their later games are not as good. Like uh, Transformers: Devastation is not really that good. It's not as fantastic as, as some of their past games. The Ninja Turtles game they made it's also not too great. Um, but anyways, I I think I think I can enjoy them. Oh fuck! I'm sorry for that. I think I can in, I can enjoy their games. Uh, anyways, I don't need even even if I if I may if I may seem picky at times. I mentioned before I play Ultimate. Uh, what what is it? Na- Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Four, and I have fun with it. So, uh, even if I if I say uh, a game is trash, I, I'm probably playing it anyway, and probably more than enjoying it. So even if I seem picky at times, me being picky doesn't mean that I can't enjoy a bad game. So I'm probably gonna enjoy the hell out of uh, Transformers Devastation. Um, moving on, I bought. <laughs> speaking of, uh, speaking of memes of playing in, uh, of playing games as memes, Dragon Ball Chinaverse, which which isn't terrible. I I, I think I, I've played a bit of it and it's not too bad, but it feels more like an RPG than a fighting game. And I bought that one just because of the meme too. I think I spent like fifty, f- uh, what? Not not fifty, fifteen, uh, on it. It's not like the biggest spending ever. Uh, I bought apparently I bought a DLC for Sonic and All Stars Racing Racing Transformed. It, it I think it was like less than a buck. So that's why I bought it. I think that the game that game is really good, but most of its of its ports are fucked. I played it on, I think I played it, not transformed, but uh, but Sonic and Sega all star racing. I played on X360 and the frame rate was so bad. It's I it was, I'm not one to complain about frame rates. I, I think I, I mean I don't care if a frame rate is 30 or or 60. Uh, I I obviously think if a frame rate is 60, it's better. It, it looks better. But I'm not gonna complain if a game is only 30. But that game is is it's not 30. It's maybe like 20 or even less. And the 3DS version, which I also played, the has also a fucked up frame rate. And the PC one, uh, surprisingly, is okay. I think it's a really good game, especially on PC. Uh, what else I bought? What else? Oh, Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, special edition. Uh, I'm a fan of of Hotline Miami. I never played uh, the sequel for some reason, and I've I haven't played it uh, to date, even if I bought it. 
but I bought the special edition just so I can play as Jacket on Payday 2, which uh, which is a game I also like uh, a whole lot. Um, actually, I like I like Holland Miami enough uh, that I made a cosplay, maybe like two years ago. I made a, a a jacket cosplay with the chicken mask and all. Uh, maybe buried buried very deep in my in my Twitter. There must be some proof of this. And well, I wanted to get the collectors. Going back to game collecting, I wanted to get the collectors edition for Holland Miami one and two. It's it's only fifty bucks, uh, so it's cheap for a collectors edition, and even in uh, for two games. But there's a little problem, and that problem is uh, shipping to my country makes it thirty more than thirty bucks more expensive. So I still haven't bought it because of that. Um, and I want to get to it uh, soon. I want to get to the game. Maybe maybe when I'm done with a couple of those I mentioned. Maybe when I'm done with Gardens of the Galaxy, I'm going for Honolulu Miami. I don't know. I want to get to it re really soon. I want to get back into Payday. Also, I want to play a bit of Payday. Because one of one of the friends that was with me in the previous Spanish podcast uh, plays a lot of Payday, of Payday Two, so uh, I kind of wanna go back to playing that with him or something, just just for fun, even if it's just for a week. Uh, I played that game in short bursts. Uh, what else? I bought Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes. I have I have had Phantom Pain for one or two years I paid I paid full price for Phantom Pain and I think I think nowadays the Metal Gear Solid 5 definitive ex experience pack is fucking fantastic to play that's that's how Metal Gear Solid 5 should be like everything in one package and the artwork for the cover I think I mentioned this uh, I think I mentioned this. I feel like I've talked about this before. The artwork for the for the cover for that game is fucking amazing. I wish I could get a, a physical copy of it. So uh, as I said, I had I had Phantom Pain. I never beat it, uh, but now I bought Ground Zero just to have the full package, sort of. Uh, I bought whoa whoa this one this one I didn't even remember I got. Uh, maybe it's it's kind of obscure. I don't know if you are going to know this one. Strike Suit Zero. Um, there's some. There's let's say it's kind of a cheaper demo. Strike Suit Infinity. That's kind of like the arcade version of Strike Suit Zero. It's kind of like a space opera mech piloting game. It's really good, I think. Uh, Zero is like the full game and Infinity is like the arcade version, like uh, an endless number of waves of enemies, kind of, uh, let's say, kind of Call of Duty zombies. Um, and I played Infinity for a while and I thought it looked great, it controlled great, it felt really satisfying, but you can only get so much uh, for a, off of a of an endless survival game so I bought the full game and I want to get to it uh, as well because it, it looks like it's gonna be a blast to play uh, and let's just let's just wrap it up this uh, wrap this up quickly I bought uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron I played the War for, Cyber War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron games on my Nintendo DS back in the day and I thought they were really good for the system I'm not, I haven't never been a I have never been a huge fan of the Transformers cartoon of any, or anything. I only watched the first movie, and it was okay at the time. I never cared a lot about Transformers, in in that sense. But the video games are really fun, and I kind of I don't really like the the plot just to watch it. But I think it's a fantastic plot for video games, so I enjoy I, I enjoy the video games a lot. I us, I actually have on my on my wish list almost every Transformers game that came out for the Nintendo DS because I enjoyed those a lot. Even those based on uh, based on the movies, uh, I want to get those because they are kind of some games I and some so, oh, real uh, re, uh, I don't want to say obscure because it's Transformers. But uh, some lesser-known games in terms of collection, 
I'd say, that I want to get because I remember them fondly. So I got this one just to relieve those memories. I also want to get to it. I'm kind of more excited for Fall of Cybertron than I, than I am for Devastation, even if Devastation is planning on games. And the last one, of, uh, the last game I got was Hex and Beyond Heretic, which is uh, one of those retro Doom-like shooters, which I enjoy a lot. If I if I uh, if I had the knowledge in game programming. Which I for for the longest time I wanted to get into game programming and game making. I obviously would like to make a fighting game, but that's too complicated. I think one of the games I would obviously make based on my taste is a Doom clone, because I I just love I just love those games. They are really nostalgic. They are they are all really fun. Doom is one of the of my favorite games ever, and I I, I basically buy every mildly interesting Doom clone that I can find on, on Steam, so Hexen is one of them. And, well, uh, let's see how long is, uh, has, uh, has this been running. We're 40 minutes in, so, whatever, man. <laughs> let's let's just wrap this up 20 minutes earlier than usual. Um, I don't know if I have any afterthoughts, I just ramble a lot about games I bought and games I want to get. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Just some last minute stuff. I'm thinking about just basically this is just my thoughts put into a podcast. So whatever. Uh, I'm thinking about getting uh, Guilty Gear Revelator 2 and the Blast Blue Chrono Phantasma as my friend thought I was going to do. But they are, if I buy both of those, they are 80 to 90 bucks both combined. Um, they are really expensive. I'm thinking of doing it, maybe when I get some money, actually, I got my paycheck not long ago, so I could afford them, but I'm thinking of doing it because it's uh, it's very expensive, but anyway, uh, I just wanted I just wanted to get that in the last minute, anyway, let's just wrap this up, uh, if you enjoyed this podcast, make sure to, to leave a like to let me know. If you wanna, if you wanna leave your opinions, you can leave them in a comment. If you wanna comment anything else, like something you wanna, you want me to mention in a future podcast. If you wanna, if you wanna make me tell something to any per- possible guest that I bring, just make sure to leave it in a comment. If you wanna see more of this, uh, please make sure to to subscribe because I really need it. I don't have any subscri- subscribers. Um, and more. Uh, what else? Uh, make sure to visit all those links you see in uh, in your screen right now. You can see uh, meme pages I run. You can see my Facebook, my Twitter. You can see a, a random Facebook uh, page that's not active, but we are planning on resurrecting really soon. So, whatever. Make sure to check all those links. Make sure to follow me everywhere. Make sure to leave a comment, leave a like, leave a su- uh, subscription. And we'll see you next week. Uh, Bye-bye.